Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today it's going to be another shave on my 24 hour growth, just a bit of life growth to mow it right down. I already got my pre-shave applied, a bit of that PAA uh, Cube 2.0, bit mentholated. I'm just going to add some more water there to hydrate the face a bit. All right. Yeah, it looks like I haven't even applied anything, but I just applied a lot of water. That said, let's get on with the shave. As for the soap today, I'm going to be visiting one of my favorite brands, Sterling. And this is the D503 scent. Um, this is a dupe of Mont Blanc Legend, I believe. It's a fragrance. Um, it's got a citrus top note with a bit of floral and earthiness. Um, I didn't like it at first, like most of the scents out there, but uh, it's okay now. Uh, that earthiness, um, I'm not digging it, digging it, but I still enjoy the floral, oh, not the floral. I still enjoy the citrus and maybe the floral a little bit. I think lavender's in it. So though that's like one of the floral notes that I enjoy at least. Um, as long as it's not too present, I'm okay with that. And I got it lathered using my one brush for the week. Hashtag one brush week. This is the Samog 830 bore brush. Got it using lathered up using my Captain's Choice bowl. So got this creamy lather going on. Let's get them lathering. All right, <clears throat> man, look at that. Love how stirring looks under the light. So creamy and filled to the brim with all the bristles. Here we go. Mm. Very nice. Look at that, just tons of lather flowing. I think I could add more water here. So I'm just gonna add a touch more water and I think we should be good to go. And I feel the menthol a bit from the pre-shave. It's feeling nice. A right, little bit more water. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm. Tons of lather left in the brush, in the bowl, in the face, just everywhere. This is why I love sterling. It's so easy to lather. It takes in a ton of water. And yeah, just very enjoyable to work with. Even with the bore brush, got a pretty decent result. Clean it up a bit and should be good to go. As for the razor today, it's gonna be a new razor to the den, another budget razor. Got this off sale on Maggards. This is the Bai Li BR177 twist to open razor. It's in the rose gold color. Man, this razor looks beautiful. Um, I think it's like under $6 right now on sale. Opens up. I uh, got a shark super stainless blade on there for the second use. The the dial's a bit, um, it's not the smoothest out there. Actually one of the rougher ones, um, but plating seems good. 
There are some marks here and there, but it seems fairly smooth all around. And the blade gap is, it's there. Um, one thing I don't like too much about this razor is the, the guard. It's very flat, as you can see. So uh, I tried the Bailey Victory Shaver before. I think this is a, that, that's a three piece version of this. It looks pretty much the same. The head design looks the same. Um, it kind of drags along my skin, so that's why I didn't like it. I think this might be a similar situation looking at the head design, but let's go for it, see how it goes. First pass through, first shave with this razor with the grain. <clears throat> oh, and there's no blade overhang, so that's, I guess that's kind of nice. Blade looks fairly, fairly good, aligned on both sides. All right, here we go. Interesting. So far, I'm not getting the drag that I expected. So that's a plus for me. It's actually shaving really nicely. Yeah. That's super nice. <laughs> I really didn't expect it because I, I actually took a couple of strokes last night against my chin, I guess my cheek right here, and I didn't like it, but maybe it's a bit different with the lather. Fair bit of blade feel with this. I would say more than the vintage Gillette, uh, vintage Gillette TTOs, twist to opens. And um, yeah, I think it's doing well for the first pass. Rinse up, go for a second. And that is so weird. I remember not enjoying the the three pass or three pass, the three piece Biley razor. It looks exactly the same as this. But this one feels a lot more smooth without the drag. Alright, here we go. Plenty left on the brush. Let's go for that second pass. <laughs> Look at that. Man, can't go wrong with sterling. Should be enough for a third pass, which is amazing. All right, let's go for that second pass across the grain. Let's continue on with this razor. <clears throat> yeah, it's feeling nice so far. Now, uh, I would not have gotten this razor by itself, but I do have a coworker who was interested in wet shaving. 
And I don't really talk about wet shading with my friends and uh, with my coworkers, but he was just kind of interested what I was doing throughout uh, the pandemic, throughout 2020, and kind of delve into wet shading as my one of my main interests and he got interested and he's still shaving with carts and cam goo so I wanted to get him started with a, a kit, a starter kit. And this razor seemed like a good starting point. It's pretty affordable as well. I think I'm almost also going to get him a Gillette Tech is a milder option. I've got a bunch of samples ready as well. All right, not bad. Let me just go across the chin. All right, not bad. Pretty good second pass. Let me rinse up and go for a cleanup pass. <sighs> yep, plenty of residual thickness with sterling. <sighs> My skin feels nice and soft. Here we go. Let's go for that cleanup across the grain pass. Plenty to work with. <clears throat> this bore is feeling pretty nice. I think it's it's well broken at the tips, but uh, in the middle of the brush, there's still some um, scrubby, stubborn bore bristles. So. I have to continue using this to break it down. Here we go. Last cleanup pass through. The shark blade is working pretty well. Let's say there's probably better pairing, but it's doing the job. Alright, not bad. I'm gonna skip the against the grain pass so that I have more to shave with tomorrow. Uh, going for that BBS really uh, takes away a lot of the fun the next day because I'm shaving so close and I got not much to shave off. So let me rinse up. See how it went. Some fresh water. Okay, I feel a little sting already. Right here. 
here. Not sure what that is. So far, the razor did well. Let me try that Allen block. See how it went. Get some. If there's any feedback around. So far, it's feeling good. Yeah, not much in the mustache. Not much on the chin as well. Just a slight feedback. A little bit on the neck. You see, overall, that's a pretty good shape. Now, I would have used some of my more comfortable blades like Astra SP, but I'm just testing out different blades to see if some of them can enter my usual rotation and so far i don't think shark is gonna do it i can definitely get a good shave out of it but just doesn't feel as comfortable as my other options but yeah not bad of a shave with this new razor um i would say it's got a medium efficiency um medium blade feel not too bad not the smoothest out there um, but it does the job. Oh, and uh, the plating looks a bit cloudy already with all that um, silk scum. That's kind of sucks, but just clean it off using some toothbrush and toothpaste gently. But yeah, pretty good razor. I think that's one of the better ones for, um, for like six bucks. We got the shave done. Um, yeah, I would say get this over the Vanderhagen starter razors because um, they pretty much feel similar. I think this one feels a bit more efficient than the Vanderhagen one, but they share similar characteristics and yeah, feels good. Gives me some good shades. So uh, yeah, let me just, yeah, I'll just uh, do the witch hazel off camera. I'm just going to be using my Thayer's. Not much, no burn, just a nice mild witch hazel to wrap it up. That said, man, using the Sterling and Simogue bore brush, always... The bore brush is not always a joy to use, I would say. Uh, depending on the soap, sometimes it could just dissipate. But Sterling soap is always a joy to use. I always have great shaves with them. Nice, slick, creamy lather. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.